Hey guys, welcome to Kalo Reviews. This is Chris, and that is Fella Saber. He's from Mastermind Creations uh, Feral Rex Combiner Team. He's actually the sixth member of the team to, to create the symmetrical arm look. So if you want Talon on his back, then you can put Talon on his back and bring in Fella Saber to have the two identical arms. So the two cat modes of the arms, and then the legs and arms are sort of more symmetrical. Now, anyway, this guy is brought to you today by TFI Down Under. They are a very, very cool Australian um, Transformers and Robot Importers. A uh, guy by the name of Evan runs it, really nice dude. Definitely check him out. Um, I recommend if you are in Australia, this is the place you need to be going for your Transformers. Especially at the moment, the exchange rate is so bad. You're actually paying a hell of a lot less to get these figures locally and you're only paying local shipping costs. So um, very, very competitive prices. So I really recommend you going to these guys first instead of the overseas retailers if you're in Australia. So again, tfidownunder.com. Um, Evan's your man there and definitely look after him because he'll look after you. He's the type of guy that will walk old grannies across the road. Open doors for ladies, true gentlemen. <laughs> just for just for everything. Anyway, let's get into this review. So this is Fella Saber. He is a cat, cat robot. He's very yellow. Now, uh, I have him with the the legs just like this. You can actually bring these um, leg pads around like you can on the uh, some of the other figures, but I actually like because he's a feline, uh, to keep those back. So, just like that. Uh, you got the head on the front there. If you wanted to, you could probably um, open up the jaw if you wanted to look at all like that. But I sort of keep it down flat like that. Now, articulation is pretty much the same as Talon um, and his mold sharing brother. Head is on a very wicked ball joint to the point where you can do that, which is very cool. Um, and you can see those blue eyes just catch the light awesomely, like a metallic uh, paint in there. Um, ratcheting goodness to go out. Uh, it has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, uh, wrist there and there it turns. So you've got this little claw underneath that you can also turn. Uh, both sides, of course, the arms will go right around. Now, depending on what position you've got these in, they can go down. Um, and they can also push forward just due to the transformation. Um, I like to have them nice and high like this. It is up to you, though. Um, push back and up for that position. The only thing is, depending on where you have that position, it will make the arm rotate odd. So again, that is up to you, but I personally prefer that position. Now, uh, due to the way the transformation works, you have an ab crunch here. Uh, not the transformation, the transformation for arm mode. So it has this ab crunch. Uh, you can use it in robot mode, or you can turn it around and have him so he can lean and arch backwards. That's up to you. You've got a waist swivel there and one up here. One up here is quite tight. I recommend using the lower one. Get the arms out of the way. For your legs, you have a full Van Dam split, um, as Vangelis would say. And again, just awesome ratchets. You've got a no thigh swivel up here. You've actually got a knee swivel down here. 90 degree knee. Uh, if you wanted to be weird and open the foot up, you could get that right back like that but then he has a foot hanging out so don't do that that's silly and there we are uh, posability is really good you can um, get him to do a full high kick if you wanted to do that you can bring that waist up the arms in like so and he will pull a high kick quite easily by himself and that's just standing on those little feet which are on a ball joint and hinge and they do have a toe so articulation on the foot is pretty good as well 
Now, um, notice I kept knocking that, that's just the tail. Let's we'll get him back into some form of uh, normality there. So, Velosaber has a couple of accessories. He comes with this. Uh, it is a like a lion's head. Oh, sorry, it's a saber tooth tiger's head. Uh, you can use it in this mode. Underneath here, you have a little tab that will normally be folded. So you fold that up. Get his arm. On the bottom of his hand here, there is a little um, peg hole there. So you're actually going to try and line these up. It can be a little difficult because that likes to fold very easily. What I recommend doing is folding all that out of the way. Just trying to look in there and then peg it in. And then you can put these uh, in any position you want. Now, it does leave it kind of underslung. Uh, it's your choice how you want to hold it. I find if you put the arm all the way out, you can flip it over and have him having that punching sort of fist if you want. So, that's up to you. Um, rotate it over again. But you, can, you can have it kind of as a shield. Now, he also comes with a gun. And that gun just sort of will peg into his hand, like so. And you can use that. Now, standard uh, hands on these Ferrorex guys. Just that mastermind, make toys, trans project type open hand. Um, with the gun, you can store it up on his shoulder if you wanted to. Um, you could probably peg it into one of these holes back here. The uh, little pegs here are roughly about five millimeters, so you can put that however you want. Anyway, so that is his gun. Now, it comes with the standard obligatory, um, what's my name? Uh, let me call it collector's card that they all come with now. So I won't show you that, apart from the squeaky chair. Now it comes with a couple of other things. In this bag is some red feet for Bovis and oh, I can't remember his name. Someone will definitely tell me in the comments because I'd like to point that out. And some replacement faces for those guys. So that's in that little baggie. And he also comes with another baggie which has these little rubber um, gel sort of stoppers and some rubber here to put on the bottom of the combiner feet because if you do own feral rex you will know that when he's standing in combined form he has the tendency for his legs just to and um, do a van dam split not on purpose so that's there tfi down under <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, so transformation of this guy is um, pretty simple. Get those out of the way. I'll start up here by the hands. Now, these uh, yellow sections separate from the grey section. Mine do it quite easily now. When I first got it, they did not. So just be aware of that. So hand away. Section in there as well. Just pop your thumb in and put that away. And that is your hands done like that. So, fairly simple. There's not a lot to this guy. Um, this head just stays there. You're going to rotate that head around. This chest section here, you're going to push up. And then that will cover his uh, robot head in there. And you have that sticking like that combine a port underneath. If you want to transform it the other way around to put uh, Talon's wing pack on here so you can have a winged um, saber-toothed tiger, you can do that. That is up to you. Now, this is a section where you have to move these arms. So, if you can see um, in here, there is a little shadowed section that is a little square L shape just in there. Now, how that works is very simple. L shape and L shape. So, to get that position for the leg. Because if you leave it there, you end up with a very funny looking tire. So you just push that down, 
and then push that back and then uh, once you've got it all the way back they are very tight so please be aware and just be careful because these little spikes on the front are very uh, sharp so it legs back like that and there is the front of your saber-toothed tiger done now because I've left these side panels in place you don't have to touch those uh, fold your foot over the top and that will peg into the back of the leg so a little tab there will peg into uh, this little slot here so that pegs right there just push that in open these flaps up pull your tail out from under there just let that sit loose and what you're going to do is fold that over the top like that fold that over the top like that make sure the tail is out of the way just peg those um, together like so these knee sections you're going to fold oh, sorry not yet uh, fold in your little tabby things like so make sure it's all pegged together and these uh, knee pad sections you might just have to pop that toe up a little bit they peg in there so looking again see these two little uh, slots here there is two little tabs on there and that pegs in like that and then again you just push those down like so and then if you want to keep that joint in there for the cat mode turn it at the lower section and that brings that up to the top and then you've got that waist joint for the cat mode. Now, with the legs, you're going to pull out and rotate down. And then on this back section, you've got these little vents. So that is going to lift up. And then you've got a leg in here. It's going to rotate around and then rotate around like so. And then fold that back in. And position your leg however you want turn the little foot around and then you have a multi-joint leg so again on this side you're going to pop that and then rotate it down and then with this leg you're going to untab that and then rotate the leg out and then the leg out again just like that rotate the foot fold that down and then you have your rear cat legs that you can sort of position how you want position how you want and then you can have the tiger mode just like so and there you have feral saber or phallus saber not feral saber in his cat mode so very cool take some time this isn't perfect but please take some time and check out some pictures of felines and things and how to pose them it's got a little poseable tail um articulation in this mode the head can move it is on a ball joint the mouth um will open so you can have him roaring if you want i do love the look of this visored look punching the light around now um, this visored head I think that just looks awesome um, so the head there the arms are exactly the same before except now you have a toe uh, back legs will move here they are on a outward joint in here and then you've got one two three points of movement on the leg themselves now with the um, front legs you can put that out so if you wanted a bit of movement you can spread sort of all those legs out like so and then you've got a bit of character to line now in this mode again the gun can peg into these ports so if you wanted that gun on his arm um, he can have a gun on his arm but I kind of think that's silly but now I've got this section here, make sure that little tab is folded away 
and that will go over the top of his head, just like so. So it should fit in like that. And then those sabre tooths go over there. And he has now got an armoured headpiece. So which is pretty cool. You can sort of have that like that. That's nothing special, but there you go. All right, I'm gonna move that and then we're going to show you how to get him back into or into an arm mode and then we'll finish up the review. Okay guys, let's try this again as my file corrupted. So we're refilming this. Okay, we're gonna transform this fella, fella saber into his arm mode. Minus the hand because um, he didn't come with one. I just want to do the review as his. Before I'll do that, he does come with a little surprise in this little panel here. Pop that out. And there is a little tiny penguin. Um, his little arms bend things, go back, and his feet will go forward. So you can have a skiing penguin, which is what Masterminds uh, like Twitter thing is and all that. So it's just a cool little addition that they threw in this little uh, penguin. So anyway, pop him back in. You just put him in like that and then fold that away and he's back in his saber tooth tiger mode yeah transform him into arm mode it's pretty simple we'll just sort of go back how we were before get your tail here separate that pop that back in this would where be where you would put your hand in here but for now we're not worrying about that come to your legs you can to fold the little vent bit there, rotate the foot around, you know, rotate that all in. When you rotate it in, you need to make sure that that foot faces in, rotate that whole section around, and then that section there will pop into there, like so. Then grab that whole leg, rotate it up, and you're going to whoop, go right around, sorry, go that way, and peg that into the side like that. Okay, so this side again, vent section out, rotate the foot in, making sure the foot is tucked, rotate around and click, and then this whole section will stick in like that. So almost there, um, your tiger head just sort of stays there like that. Now we're going to rotate these arms back and they will tab in onto themselves like so and then that section here there's a little tab and a little hole so you'll actually have to push that arm back in like that and then from there you will push the arm up so you want it in the same position that it was for robot mode and then that arm will sit there like that so again, you go up and then forward with that, rotate it around, peg these two slots into the front of the upper arm, rotate that down and peg it in to the side of the body like so. Now, you've got your points of articulation. This is going to be his left arm. So rotate that forward like that. There is your peg and your shoulder joint. And there is your movement. So that here is him in arm mode. Just like so, make sure that's all pegged in. Um, nothing too special. This is very similar to the way Talon worked. Obviously the hand in there, but that's it. Um, I'll just quickly put him back into robot mode and we'll show you a uh, size comparison. So again, getting him back is really uh, quite easy. Rotate that forward if you want your ab crunch there. Push that down, rotate the head around, and that will come down like so, and put your head back like that. Untap these from the body and rotate up, rotate up, untab, put the thumb in there, and pop that hand out, pop that hand out, close that, 
just leave those however you want. I like them sort of coming up under the hand. Uh, same on this side, rotate that out. Put your thumb and finger in there and just separate that. Rotate the hand out, close that. There are arms. Come around the back here, just untap the feet. Untap the feet, pop that out, pop that out. It's your kneecaps. Unfold the foot panels. Then you rotate the whole section out. Then rotate the waist around like so. And then separate. Close that panel back up and put your foot forward. So again, close the panel up and foot forward like that. And there you have Fella Saber back in his robot mode. So what I'll do is I'll just pop him there and with the camera magic, a uh, size comparison will appear. And there, and there is Fella Saber with uh, Transformers Masterpiece Wheeljack and Camera Magic. And there, and there he is next up, MP Prime. And you can see Prime is quite a lot larger than Fella Saber. So roughly that Masterpiece scale. Alright guys, we will finish up, put a cut in here, and uh, I'll give you my final thoughts. Final thoughts? <laughs> Learn to speak properly. Okay. Alrighty guys, that was a video review of Mastermind Creations Fellow Saber from their Feral Rex Combiner team. Here's the additional robot that comes with those extras that I showed you. The game this review was brought to you by TFI Down Under, tfidownunder.com. Um, please check them out. As I said, Evan, he's an Australian supplier. He imports his stuff and keeps his prices as low as possible. Um, and then you're only paying local postage if you're in Australia, so that saves you a bit of cash. Now, definitely recommend picking this guy up if you've got the other um, parts of the team. Why not? You've already spent $500, so what's another one? <laughs> but um, definitely think about getting this guy. He's a fun individual robot. Um, I prefer Talon still, because it's got the wings and all that sort of stuff. Um, but this guy definitely is fun. Love the blue eye sculpt. Um, it's standard Mastermind creation stuff, so you've got plenty of detailing all over the place. Good paint apps. Good use of colour choices with the solid, bold yellow. And for a yellow figure, it looks pretty good. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. Please ignore my squeaky chair if you haven't. Uh, check me out on Facebook. Just search Kalel Reviews. And on Twitter. Um, I'll put the thing across here. So, thanks for watching, guys. That's Fellow Saber. Your reviewer. I'm Chris.